here's a small video to let you know that uh, on the current version of uh, on the current monkey uh, the twitch backend search support has been added overnight meaning that the next time you run a motion monkey you'll be able to search uh, for channels on twitch uh, for instance here i'm going to search minecraft uh, content i can find one here and i can play it directly from um, the backend search engine. Previously, what I had to do was essentially using the DuckDuckGo uh, backend here, which was doing a global search through the DuckDuckGo search engine. So it wasn't as convenient than searching for channels uh, directly on the Twitch, um, on the Twitch backend essentially. And so you can uh, do that now. Here, for instance, I can search for GTA 5. Uh, and once I find something I like, I can pretty much connect to it. And uh, with the recent version of Motion Monkey, as you might know, uh, you're able to go back and forth uh, between different content in the application. So here, I'm essentially navigating between the channels, which is uh, fairly nice. I can find another one, for instance. Whatever I want. Can go there. So you see that every once in a while, the commercial break. Um, the reason we have that is because Twitch enforces a pre-roll on their stream. And even if you're not displaying the, the advertisement or any kind of pre-roll like I do, I don't on, on Monkey, you'll get there every once in a while. But after it, uh, the content should uh, resume accordingly. Uh, so again, going back and forth between them. And essentially, searching what I'm looking for Game menu. Uh, directly from the back end itself. So hopefully you find it useful for you, your friends, your family. Uh, keep in mind you can still export a video tag, share it with your friends from here. Keep in mind you can use the casting feature with Chromecast and more recently Evolution. I actually did a video about that. Uh, evolution on Android TV, but it also works on many other platforms. So, yes, hopefully you find this interesting and useful for you. Thank you for your feedback and uh, see you next time.